Okay, I've actually had quite a few requests for um, kind of a walkthrough of my home screens on my T-Mobile G2, which is running an HTC Sense ROM. So this is it. Um, I'm using an application called Launcher Pro. Um, this gives me the uh, custom dock down here. You'll see it looks a little bit like the Sense dock, but I actually have four uh, shortcuts. And then um, obviously I'm using beautiful widgets up top. So one of the cool things is obviously it gives you this. Um, with Launcher Pro, you can actually choose how many home screens you want. Um, I have five, and you'll notice that I've got pretty much all of them full. Um, one thing that I've started doing lately is using just the middle home screen as a pretty basic, um, kind of a quieter look. Um, <clears throat> so you'll notice I only have this widget on the bottom tells me my battery percent. Uh, and it spells it out, so it's kind of neat, a little bit different than having an actual uh, icon. And then obviously this is beautiful widgets up top. Um, this gives me the time, uh, the weather, which is updated. And of course I can choose different skins. You can see I've got that uh, kind of cartoony font for the clock. And then I have real um, kind of more realistic uh, graphics for the weather. Uh, I could have some uh, different looks on that. Um, so, and then, you know, your normal notifications bar and that kind of thing. So, um, and I do have this awesome snowy live wallpaper, which is awesome. It's on the uh, Android market. So one of the cool things about Launcher Pro is that it uh, supports gestures with all of your links on your docs. So uh, that's actually one way that I'm able to have such a clean home screen is you can see that I've got these four shortcuts down here. Um, if I tap this one, obviously it brings me to the phone. Uh, however, if I swipe up, it actually launches my Google Voice. Uh, instead of just the phone app, which is definitely awesome. So um, going back, I can also touch this one. Obviously, that's my contacts. Uh, and if I swipe up, then it launches straight into Facebook. So I can uh, keep track of friends, even though the Facebook app kind of sucks. It's nice to have it access right there. Um, another cool thing is this one. In the middle here, if I press it, it brings up my applications, um, which is normal, kind of what you'd expect. If you swipe up, I've set it to open the Android market. So I may not have gotten that gesture. There we go. So that way I can quickly check out either what I have installed or choose additional app applications to install. Um, then this one, obviously, if I touch it, I get hand sent for my messaging. And if you swipe up, then you get TweetDeck which is very handy. So I have quick access also to Twitter and Facebook this way. Um, and then likewise, this one, if you touch it, I actually changed this one today um, to launch the Xmark applica application. Um, I had it set to the browser if you touch it, but either way. And then one of the cool things about Launcher Pro, if you pay for the additional uh, premium version, is you get these pop-ups. So this is actually my... Um, bookmarks that are saved with my system browser. It does not work with third-party browsers unless you have them reading your main default bookmarks um, database. So, But this way, without launching the browser, I can quickly choose which, uh, basically kind of which home page I want to use more or less, um, which is very cool. So um, essentially, right here where it looks like I only have five shortcuts, um, I actually have 10 total just with these little buttons down here. So that's incredibly handy. Um, and then this is my um, settings home, home screen. So I've got extended widgets here, or extended control widgets uh, that let me toggle different services. I've got uh, set CPU here running, so it tells me what I'm overclocking to. This is a to-do list widget, which obviously I have a pretty clean right now because I haven't set it up. Uh, Dropbox, Root Explorer, and Pixel Pipe. And then this is all my games. Um, so I kind of have one home screen des designated for entertainment. And then if you go back to the home screen to the left is um, kind of more mix and match here. I've got quick post for uh, TweetDeck, even though I really honestly don't use this because I have such an easy shortcut. Um, this is a little battery monitor, uh, GTalk. This is a cool little widget here. This shows me my current GTalk status. And if I tap it, it actually lets me change it and it loads all my system statuses. Um, that I have saved on GTalk server. So if I use it often, it'll be there so I don't have to retype it all the time. 
Um, and then obviously Shazam, Google Maps, um, Gallery, and Quick. And then this is called uh, Android Agenda Widget. This gives me my calendar, and it also supports multiple calendars. Um, so if I have several saved ones on my phone, uh, I can see them all in one handy calendar. And then kind of an extra screen, I have the Google Voice Settings Toggle uh, Widget. This is a beautiful widget, so it gives me the actual week forecast. And then this is um, audio manager widget, which lets me see what sounds and such are actually enabled and what volume they're at. So I can really quickly tap that and um, change volumes pretty easily. So uh, as you can see, it's pretty pretty easily set up. Um, it's pretty standardized for me. Uh, I like to have everything set the same way always. So, um, but really and truly, these gestures down here are just so incredibly handy to have. Um, because I can basically do anything that I want within, you know, one touch or one swipe. So that's uh, how I have my Launcher Pro set up. Oh, another cool feature that I almost forgot is, um, and one of the main reasons I use Launcher Pro, uh, obviously with Android, your main menu can get a little junked up, especially if you have as many apps as I do. Um, so one cool feature of that is um, lets you hide different applications. It's kind of like on Blackberries where you can uh, well hide applications. So here... Uh, you just touch on hidden apps, and it's a little slow loading, especially when you have, you know, over, uh, I think I have close to 100 apps installed. So it does get a little bit sluggish loading it up, but once it does, uh, it's just checkboxes to show the ones that you want to be hidden. And then uh, it'll reload itself, and uh, they won't show up in your menu, which is awesome. So if you've got a whole lot of apps, you can just kind of uh, check different things to make sure that they're uh, not going to show up. If it's ones that you either, for instance, I have ones hidden that I have a shortcut on the home screen um, or on one of my home screens. So obviously I don't really need it to show up in my main menu as well. Um, so that's really handy. And then some of the other stuff that's just kind of silly that I don't ever use, um, I can actually have hidden so that it doesn't, again, junk up my, um, my main menu. So um, I could probably go ahead and hide the default. I think that's the default. I have two galleries. This is the Sense gallery, and then I have the uh, the default Android gallery, which is so much better. Um, so I can do that, and it's going to ask me if I want to restart it. Uh, then when I do that, now you'll notice that I have far fewer icons in here. Uh, you'll notice that all the games at the top are gone. Um, and you can even see down here, this is organized a little bit different because it's not showing everything. So uh, definitely handy. I love Launcher Pro and highly recommend it to anybody.